I'm working on the false spar that goes above these short ribs and finishes the compartment for the fuel tank. So it's a piece of 32 thousandths that's bent up and I will go grab some 32 thousandths stock and blank it out on the router. So here's my false spar blank off the router, and it's perfect in size. So I will just dress the edges, and then I will sand and prep the faces so they're ready for painting and priming, and then I will bend it to shape. So now I'm going to mark for the 5 8 flanges for my bender so I can bend this. And I just need one mark on each end. And I'll set it up in the brake. Now my brake I made. And so it's not perfectly polished surfaces and everything like you would get on a nice one you might find in a sheet metal shop. So I found it's easier to put some contact paper on the metal than it is to polish every surface on the uh, angle line that I made the brake out of. You can reuse this, but then it doesn't get scratched up when you're bending it. Alright, I have some gauges I made with the router to get the angle set.
That looks pretty close. So now I'll check it. Just check to make sure the angle looks close to correct before I go and bend the other side. So what I'm going to do is remove these Clicos and remove this spar so that I can slide that in real easy and, and kind of play around with how that angle looks. Now, per the plans, it's pretty close, but... Set it in here. So, yep, that is good. Let me just mark it so I don't get myself mixed up. This is the top. It's also the right wing. I'll switch up here and bend this other side. Remove the uh, contact paper off of here, and so we'll see how it fits here. Let's get on that end. Put this rib back in place. So there's the two false spars in and they're fitted so you just need to make the angle brackets to attach them and I will Clico them in place.